so grateful that I can see these wonderful things. I also can see what is not and what is broken. And out of that, with deep gratitude, I want to be a healer in the world who brings wholeness by being, not just by doing, but by being fully present. And um, that's where we enter that realm of letting go, which is entering into the darker. Because the first step is gratitude, gratefulness. The next step is a step further down into the world. So we, rather than ascending the mountain, we're going into the valley, if you want, with this process. So we begin with at the pinnacle, um, at the mountaintop. We begin right there uh, with the sunrise, and then we enter into the shadow world. And the shadow world is a world of woundedness and loss. And we recognize and admit the fact that no one gets to love without having to endure loss. That the more we love, the more it hurts. Because love is the act of letting go. And that may sound like a, a, a negative or a pessimistic statement or a frightening thing, but actually there's a liberation in that truth. That in loss we all share part of that deeper heart. That life generates new life by dying. Though we all live, in a sense, on the death of others, whether it's how we eat, how we breathe, um, the fact that there is only room for so many of us, that we all live by the death of others, but we also um, bring that death into newness, into new things, new thoughts, new realities. And that where we are today is largely because of so many who have walked before us, who have thought before us, who have shared before us, who have given of themselves before us. So that sacrificial dimension. In the Christian world, we, we look at that as something that relates to the Jewish experience of Passover or the Paschal mystery at the heart of things, that life is a cycle of living and dying and being reborn and living and dying. So almost like that, the way in which we approach engaging spirituality is we're breathing in and we're breathing out. There's those two dimensions of receiving and returning. And receiving is a joy, but so is returning, even if returning is giving back our life. So with engaging spirituality, we begin at the mountaintop of gratitude. We enter into the valley of sorrow, or the veil of sorrow, as it's called in traditional language sometimes. They have these very poetic ways of saying that, that sometimes our life can feel like a veil of sorrow. And certainly if we look around the world from um, with our hearts open, we can see the veil of sorrow is broad and deep and dark and wide. And you can look at the struggles and sufferings of so many human beings, the planet herself stretched and stressed. Um, you can see the, the necessary elements of loss, that suffering is a part of living. But there's also needless, unnecessary suffering that can be um, eliminated, removed. Um, and part of our task where suffering is necessary and part of life is to walk with that. And sometimes we have the opportunity together to alleviate suffering entirely, the suffering of hunger, the suffering of the indignity of human life, the suffering of, of the destruction of our planet. And there's a cost to all of that. There's a cost to living simply. There's a cost to walking humbly. And that leads us kind of more deeper into the reality that what needs to change is me, is us. 